Hello, I'm Rebecca Wolf. I'm the Math and Science Department Chair for Ivy Tech Lafayette, and I'm creating this video to give a course tour of our Virtual Math 123 Quantitative Reasoning course for summer 2021. So once you get access to the course, which should happen a few days before the class starts, this is what you should see. We have the class split up into eight modules, which you can access through these buttons if you want. Uh, we also have some course resources like links to the videos and Google Slides here on the front page. If you're not used to working in Canvas, I recommend that you do some of the online training that the school offers to learn how to navigate everything. Uh, but basically, there's just lots of ways to get everything to everything. So you can also get to the modules over here on the left uh, and the syllabus, which is where I will start. This is also where you should start in the course. Read through the syllabus. It's rather lengthy, but this is where all the rules and regulations of the course are at. So the first thing that you should see is your instructor contact information. Uh, this is just a blank shell, so I don't have that in there yet. But there's my information if you need to reach out to me. We're also linking to the continuously updating COVID-19 information. Uh, so students are allowed to come onto campus right now, but they have to have masks. I'm sure that will be slowly changing as we move forward. Right, one unique thing about this course is the course packet. So we are still using the Ivy Tech published course packet for Lafayette. You will pay for this as part of your tuition and fees and they will ship that directly to your house. It's a fill in the blank note packet that you will use to help learn the material. Uh, there's also some great contact information here in the syllabus, help desk, online support, uh, information about our tutoring, information about the class, all that good stuff. So you should read through all of this. I'm not going to read through it in this video. I will point out that grades are weighted. If you don't know what that means, you're going to find out when we talk about that in section six of our course. Uh, do be aware of deadlines for withdrawing for a full refund in the summer. That basically happens in the first week, so you'd have to decide right away. And then there's also the option to withdraw with a W that counts as an attempt that happens at about the 75% point in the class. You do need to do some kind of meaningful assignment in that first week so that you do not get dropped. All these dates are included in the syllabus area. I'm making this video for the virtual section of our course. So it's virtual, you don't have to come to campus. I know some of you don't live in the Lafayette area, that's fine. We'll be able to handle everything virtually, hopefully for the most part. All right, so let's take a look a little bit at what is in the course. And if you've found this video, you're doing pretty good so far. It's a virtual course, not an online course. When we design the original face-to-face -face course, we really never wanted to make an online version of the course. And what we decided was to create what we called at that time an online synchronous version of the course and we now call virtual. So all of our Math 123 requires some kind of meeting time, whether it's in person or in our case, virtual. We'll do that through Zoom. Most teachers will use the Zoom link in the course and you'll come into the Zoom area and there should be a big list of meetings there for you to click on and join pretty easily. Uh, your teacher may also choose to make cloud recordings of these meetings that you can access in the same area. So if you haven't used Zoom yet, I don't know where you've been for the last year, uh, but it's pretty easy to use. Let's take a look at those modules. So I've included a, a printable calendar for my students. And then each module is broken down into several parts. You don't have to look at the overview, uh, but it can be helpful. Here's where you'll find PDF copies of the book if you haven't received your course packet in the mail or if you just prefer to work online, uh, you can access those there. The next page is learning activities. So you may be wondering, you sent me a, a blank book, how am I supposed to learn the material? Well, we have videos, we have Google Slides, some of this stuff you're already going to know. So it just depends on your need for that particular topic on how you are going to learn that material. Uh, we have great videos from Professor Becky and from myself linked throughout the course and the homework. If you can't find the videos, you're doing something wrong. Uh, we've made them very, very available for students. That's one way you can learn the materials. There's three pages of videos 
there for the first week. You should also attend the Zoom sessions. So in the Zoom sessions, your instructor will do some of the material during those sections, but this is a three credit, four contact hour course. And for the virtual sections, we're actually only meeting 50% of those four hours. So you will be expected to do some of that learning outside of course, but your instructor will also provide instruction during the Zoom time, interact with you, answer questions, just like they would in a face-to-face -face class. We'll have discussion boards uh, pretty much every week, at least maybe twice a week in some cases, you'll have a discussion board to complete. They range from the simple introduction, how, you, how do you do, to actually having you do some math and responding to each other to build your communication skills, which is a really important part of quantitative reasoning. The main bulk of your homework will be done with this tool called WebWork. You'll just click on this link and it will open in a new window. Most of the problems are set for unlimited attempts, so you can try them over and over again. Although most questions we have set to reset after five misses and then it gives you new numbers. Most of the questions are short answer or multiple choice, but a lot of them are, are kind of fill in the blank. For questions that we know students have trouble with, there are built in hints. So like this one appears to have a hint. After you miss it three times, you can pop open this hint and there'll be maybe something written or often another video instruction on what you need to do for that question. For students, you're not gonna have quite as many buttons as I have here as an instructor, but you wanna make sure that you're submitting answers because every time I submit an answer, web work is going to tell me if I'm right or wrong. So here it's even giving me a message telling me something that might be wrong, something with significant figures uh, that I may need to do with this problem. Uh, some of the questions are multi-step, so you actually cannot get from one part of the question to the next without uh, getting the first part correct. For those, if you don't want to use one of your attempts, you can use this preview my answer to open the uh, next step of the problem. So for instance, this one, I'm supposed to write this as a reduced fraction. So rather than using an attempt, I can use preview and it will only open that next, that next section if I got the first part right. So if it's not opening the next section, it's because you've got it wrong. You can also go back and reopen that. Uh, you'll probably be frustrated with web work for the first week or so. It's computer graded, so you have to get the formatting exactly right. So if the answer is you know, 50.1 and you enter 50, web work's not going to accept that answer. So really watch for rounding instructions, read for uh, the detail of the questions. It will save as you go and communicate the grades back to our Ivy Learn Canvas page. Uh, if it's not, let your teacher know, but it should do that automatically. Sometimes you'll get logged out of web work. To get back in, just come back to Ivy Learn, refresh the page, follow the link again, and it should take you there. So that's the bulk of your homework. You have unlimited attempts on that. I highly recommend you start that immediately after you talk about it in class so that you can ask about it on the next class day. Uh, for my classes and the Lafayette classes, we have assignments set for reduced scoring. So we have an initial due date, usually the next class day or the day after the next class day where your homework is due. Don't wait until then to do your homework though, start it early. After that date, we'll give reduced credit, 50% credit for whatever else you had to finish through the test date. But you should do well on the homework since you get to try the problems over and over. So that's one kind of homework. Uh, let's go out to the assignments, which is just another way to access the assignments besides the modules. You can also get there from the home page, from the calendar. So we have 17 sections in the book. There are 17 sections of web work. We're also going to have some Excel assignments. Don't worry, we're gonna teach you how to do the Excel. And for these, uh, students would have a submission button in which you would attach a file. Please attach an Excel file so that your teacher can, can read those. Uh, students can access Microsoft 365 for free through Ivy Tech. You can also use the computers in the Ivy Tech campus if you don't have Excel on your computer. Of course, in addition to homework, there will be quizzes. 
These are also online. These are also computer graded. We're going to give you two attempts on the quizzes. They're mostly short answer, fill in the blank kind of quizzes. And again, the computer grading is eh, not so great. Your instructor should come back and give you credit for things if the computer misses it when grading, especially for things like sentences. If you have to write a sentence, the computer is too dumb to do that. Your instructor will do that. So if you initially get a low score, it may just be that your instructor needs to grade part of that. So don't go emailing your instructor all upset. You need to give them a chance to get the grading done. We're going to give you two chances on the quizzes so that you can improve your score, but uh, beware. It's not an identical quiz. So don't think you can cheat the system, memorize the answers and then go back and enter them. We'll change the questions on you, but they'll be very similar. So for most sections, there's a quiz, a couple of the sections are combined. Okay, I mentioned the discussions. Your teacher may also include daily questions during the Zoom sessions and count those for points. Um, they will talk to you more about that during your classes. We'll have two projects. These are a little more detailed than just a regular homework assignment. Uh, so having you do a little more in Excel, write a short reflection paper uh, about it. So we'll talk more about those as we get to the end of unit one and unit two for our two projects. There are three tests in this course. So plan accordingly with the calendar for when those are due. Before each test, we have online practice tests that are awesome that you need to start on early and practice on often. You can take those as many times as you want. We take the highest score. They are again from pooled questions and they'll ask you a little different variation of the question each time. So the more you take it, the more different types of questions you see, the more practice you get. And we'll just record the highest score for that that you achieve before the test. The tests themselves, you will also take online. We will use the Respondus Lockdown Browser, which seems to work for 95% like of the students so that you can take your test at home. You just need a webcam and to download the Respondus Lockdown Browser to do that. If you haven't used that before, uh, we have a quiz early on that has you download that software and test it out, make sure everything works for you so you'll be ready to take the test. Uh, now, occasionally, if you only have an iPad or you only have a Chromebook, we run into some issues. Again, you're welcome to come use the computers at campus, or we can set up some kind of alternative if you can't get that to work. We'll worry more about that when test time rolls around. Uh, but honestly, it has worked well for most of my students. So that is a, a short tour of the course. Your teachers will give you more details uh, once class gets started. Really, the keys to success are hard work, start early, ask questions, uh, especially in the eight week classes, it's very challenging because things happen rapidly. So watch your calendars, plan ahead. You're going to get everything done in two months and we really want you to be successful. Uh, if you have questions, you can reach me again at rwulf at ivytech.edu and uh, we'll be opening these classes for you soon. I hope you have a good summer and a successful class.